Hey, good afternoon. It's Patricia Daker with Dragonfly Lights and it is Thursday, so it's video day. And my topic today is all about getting unstuck. So I thought I would do something new. So um, instead of being in my office where I typically um, do my videos, I thought I would combine a little home care with a little family care or work with life balance. So my daughter wanted to bring the dogs to the dog park and they were right at my feet, so I'm sure they'll bark. But anyway, we decided we would kill two birds with one stone and I could do something with my family and get my business work done as well. So I'm happy to be talking to you today about, again, getting unstuck. So that was my blog post on Monday. And what you find, or anyway, I find with diabetes is it's really easy to get into habits. And when we think about those habits and how they serve us, you know, are they really what we want to be doing. We can have good habits or bad habits. So I have a really good habit of always checking my blood sugar. I just do. It's maybe left over from my nursing days that I really just need to know what that number is. I'm kind of obsessed about it perhaps. But I probably have some bad habits too that could um, use some attention. And so the first thing that you can do when you need to, you know, change your habits is first be aware of them. Right? So what are your patterns? What are the things that you do that may be in a rut that you're stuck in? Right? And if there are things that really aren't helping you, first step is to notice, and then the second step is to take some sort of action. So, sort of like I did today, it kind of feels weird, and I know the lighting's not perfect, but whatever, it's new, it's fun, it's different. Um, and I decided, what the heck, let's change something up. So, maybe this will be something I decide to do more often, who knows. But again, it's your choice. You get to go do something different, and it kind of shakes things up. It feels weird at first, but the thing is, when you want to change a habit, you have to be willing to let go of the way you used to do it. And I think sometimes that's harder because that's safe and it's what we know and what we like. But again, it's, if you always do what you've always done, you're always going to get the same result. So um, consider that. So if there are some habits or things that you've been doing and kind of in a rut, just in your same routine and you're not liking the results, consider taking action and doing something else, right? So. Um, the other thing that's kind of nice about doing something different is you get a new perspective, new change of uh, change of scenery. So if you're always looking at you know your day the same way, you'll see things the same way. But when you get out and you change how you view the world, you see something new, and that something new may be just the thing to make you decide to do something new. So anyway, that was my message for today about getting stuck in a rut. You know, do something new and. Yeah, it feels kind of weird at first, but what the heck, it's a beautiful day, it's sunny, we're killing two birds with one stone, so why not? Um, I'd also like to invite you to join my webinar. So we've done series one and two. The first one was about um, just dealing with your diabetes and the things that you may not learn from your doctor. And number two was about the grief journey and what the grief that we may have with diabetes. And this week we're gonna be, next week, excuse me, next week Wednesday at noon central, we're gonna be talking about motivation and what makes you do what you do. And if you're not liking what you're doing, you know, instead of just trying to tough it out and change things, I've got some tips on how to make it um, a little bit easier. So thanks again from the dog park. I hope you can see some of the guys. There's my poncho. I don't know if you can see him over there. There he is. Um, anyway, take care and we'll see you next week. Bye.